फॉर मी पर्सनली आई स्टार्टेड लाइक देर वॉज अ इंट्रोडक्टरी सेशन बाई कोड आइसम आर सीनियर्स टू केट एंड ऑल्सो देर वॉज अ कॉन्टेस्ट लाइक बिफोर ऑल द फर्स्ट ईयर्स सो आई टुक पार्ट इन द कॉन्टेस्ट एंड आई आई डिड डेंट परफॉर्म सो वेल बट फ्रॉम देयर ऑन वर्ड्स लाइक आई स्टार्ट अटेंडिंग कोड आइसम क्लासेज एंड लाइक सॉल्व ऑल द क्वेश्चन दे गेव इन होमवर्क एंड फ्रॉम देयर वंस आई डेवलप्ड इंटरेस्ट लाइक आई नीडेड लेस गाइडेंस एंड देन आई स्टार्ट ऑन मई ओन मोस्टली and uh, apart from that a uh, prior coding experience i have ha- had little java experience from my class 9 10 10th but that's that was it yeah so for me uh, i had a lot of experience uh, before coming to college uh, like for 4 years i did coding in java i developed many applications and games also so i already had interest in coding but uh, talking about competitive coding uh, in the first year i started giving contests on the various platforms and the more i solved problems the more interest i gained okay unlike them i did not have any prior experience and also i was not aware of anything of that sort so one of my friend introduced me to competitive programming pretty late i missed all the sessions that were held of coda sm and other uh, clubs etc Uh, so my friend Suraj helped me introduce to competitive programming, and we started pretty late. Uh, but we kind of enjoyed discussing with each other at our level only. And uh, from my second year onwards, I started attending Coda SM regularly, and it helped me grow. So initially, the problem was like not many people did it. Like in my first year, like only two three people I knew who uh, regularly practiced it. so also i didn't know about online communities so most of the doubts i had like i i rarely asked seniors also then so i tried to resolve them by myself which generally took a lot of time and apart from that uh, like uh, like once i developed a lot of interest i started giving too much time in first year so my college studies did suffer a bit due to it so um, i would agree with yash that uh, I didn't had like a lot of friends to do competitive programming with initially so uh, it was like kind of monotonous just sitting by a laptop and writing some code also like uh, I had very less senior interaction in the first year so uh, like I had no one to guide guide me with that so th- that's that were the main problems that I face uh with me the main problem was when i started complete programming most of the people of my batch were already pretty ahead and also when i first started it the kind of vision i had with complete programming is i have to keep my rating up no matter what what's the way so that was kind of wrong and it uh made me stuck for in the complete programming for quite some time in the beginning Okay, so for me, the most memorable was like, uh, like I had developed a lot of competitive programming friendships from across colleges, like from different uh, IITs and stuff. So like I got to meet a lot of them, like I hear their perspectives. We played few games before the contest and after the contest. So that was the most memorable. And apart from that, we had few like last minute submissions and last second submissions. So that adrenaline, like in a five hour contest, submitting a problem in the last five minutes. so that was the highlight for me for me i would say uh, the most memorable experiences were meeting uh, the top coders from the country um, all at one place and also some um, uh, before the contest strategies that we were preparing listening to some uh, songs and uh, playing bluff and things like that so one specific memory i would like to share was when we were giving amritapuri regionals so we uh, all we already solved seven problems and the amount of time we had was only 10 minutes so we were pretty sure that we are not going to we are not being able to solve the eighth one and since the rank list was froze we kind of wanted to scare other participants and uh, intentionally left the room 10 minutes early so that they would feel ki we have already solved all the problems <laughs> so one point i would like to add 
like it's not the icbc experience the experience like when we practiced in our room like gave five hour contest like most of the uh, like during m- lot of times like we would used to curse at each other like f- find like I-, i used to code and like jay is watching and like shouting at why i'm coding such in such a bad practice like th- that was also like unique experience I just say time should be like now, because if they are first year, obviously they could they should start early. And even if they are in second year, like I I don't think it is too late. Like Abhishek started in second year only, so like it's not it's never too late basically. And I have heard a uh, like there's a famous coder Indian coder who started in the uh, second or third year and like became red uh, before his college life ended. So like it's never too late. And obviously like it's a team contest, so. like you don't have to necessarily become too strong yourself you have to have like few strengths of yourself which combine in combine in a right manner with your teammates and that is uh, enough in most cases to qualify the best time according to me is when you have all the basics covered you can just go for it of uh, like i think initially like for beginners they should not focus too much on icbc and they should focus on like improving their own uh, competitive programming like and once they reach a certain level then sh- they should try to find fe- teammates like uh, with whom they bond well and they have a nice uh, chemistry and once they form the team now they can like uh, uh, divide the hard topics among themselves so that e- each teammates like each topic is covered by one or two of the teammate and then they can practice team contest together like but initially i would suggest like till at least they are like 1700 1800 code forces they should focus on improving their own skill sets just wanted to add one thing uh, that while choosing your teammates don't just uh, see their ratings and all you also should look for teammates uh, whom you think you can perform well whom you think you can cooperate while in a contest and uh, also like uh, with whom you think that your skills and their skills combined will give you more benefit uh one thing not specific to icpc but in general uh, e- uh initially uh, as ajesh said uh, a student should focus on his individual strength but even while doing competitive programming i would recommend students having uh, a group of friends with whom he uh, he or she can discuss questions after with or share his strengths so that uh, he gets to know different perspective to approach us in uh, the same problem in general the trend in icpc is we look for some topic or some algorithm of the uh, that is used in competitive programming and kind of modify it in some funny way so our team name is inspired from convex hull so we modified it to make it convex chill like uh like we were basically inspired from a team from iit bhu their name was like minimum spanking tree so we wanted to create something similar for forming a team of 3 members first and foremost like it was pretty tough Uh, f- f- in the first icbc which i gave oh, me and uh, me abhishek and another person was there and like obviously that during that time the intern season was also there so it didn't go well and then around uh, like we uh, decided that we would uh, look for a third teammate and it took us like 7 to 8 months to get jay on board and once we got uh, him like then it was mostly a smooth journey a slight hiccup was that we had to practice a lot during our classes like with the offline semester so we had to manage times of three people so that we can give five hour contest but apart from that it was a smooth journey like uh, like it did help a lot like in during the initial stages uh, like i used to attend code as some classes and also ask uh, seniors for doubts and during in even when we even after we formed the team then also i asked like a previous team had qualified for world finals so i asked ankur dua sir like for tips and how to practice so in that case also like he did help a lot um in the first place i knew about icbc from seniors itself 
so that was the first benefit that i had and secondly uh, i had some benefit about the experience of the other teams that have already qualified for the regionals so that also helped me a lot uh for me uh, the entire journey of competitive programming started with seniors itself because i did not have any uh, past knowledge of it myself so i am kind of thankful to kora sm a lot for that and that's one of the major reason i uh, myself joined kora sm in my third year like not much limitations like uh, you do have to manage your time in your uh, like when you give prepare for icpc apart from that uh, like limitations that it could be like uh the indian icpc regionals are i think not managed so well like the dates are announced pretty late and like even for us the final list of qualified teams was announced so late that we had to register for the next icpc as well so like in that case we can't do much like we can basically mail them uh apart from that i don't think any limitations are there uh like we did get a lot of support from our seniors uh and about the icpc culture like i think we think like it's like sort of uh, getting diminished like in the coming batches and we would like for it to be like uh, revived and from the uh from the college authorities Uh, like we are hoping to get reimbursed for our flight tickets to Egypt. So if that gets done, yes, college authority support a lot. Uh, if not, we'll see. What like Core ISM is teaching uh, uh, competitive programming to juniors, which is a good initiative. Like it 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 has been done from a long time. apart from that we did start uh, icpc oriented classes as well which the three of us took so i guess like we just started it i guess if that could be continued for a longer duration that would be great for the icpc culture like teaching tough topics to the ones who are interested uh, so that would that would be a good start to improve the icpc culture here uh, one thing that i would like to add is uh, initially all most of the uh, students have the mindset that we do competitive programming from uh, from the point of getting interns and placements that is the sort of mindset that prohibits students from growing more in competitive programming after getting interns and placements like most of the students in our junior batch and uh, they stopped doing after they got uh, secured a uh, good internship so that's the kind of mindset uh, one sh- one should not start competitive programming with if he is aiming from I- for icpc so uh, as uh, yesh already said ki we were facing a lot of trouble finding a third teammate so we were hoping ki we uh, alone uh, without a third teammate would qualify for world finals so when we started preparing we kind of think ki uh, getting into world finals is will be a pretty great for us and would would uh, it would seem like a far fetched dream for us Uh, but as soon as we got our third teammate and started practicing and started seeing the results as compared to other teams so we were kind of feeling more secure towards our position and we st- started feeling like ki ha asia west to will do will have to aim for world finals and like to that i had like when our senior batch went to russia for world finals like there is a a whatsapp chat between me and abhishek where i send the screenshot of their insta story and like just say that like like even if we don't qualify at least this de- deserves a good attempt from our side uh because like both of us thought like we are sufficiently able to qualify for world finals so like it would be a shame if we didn't try hard enough and then regretted it later so that was the main motivating factor like that is the story and from that we started practicing hard like even before jay joined us we practiced a lot together as well 
um this is like my feelings not before registering but after we gave the gwalior regionals we were like calculating how many teams have already qualified from the kanpur regionals how many will qualify from the amrita puri regionals do we still have a chance to qualify for the asia west or not just uh, bugging the contest organizers how many team will qualify and all so that was the feeling and now it's just uh, pretty good for me it has been a like major part like most of the people i know in college and like in other colleges as well like it's mostly due to computer programming and uh, like I, i it also helped me like get into a lot of whatsapp groups during online semester <laughs> because people used to think that i would had a lot to contribute based on my computer programming performance uh and apart from that yeah like uh, i met abhishek only due to computer programming like the first conversation i had with him like i want you to be my my teammate <laughs> and uh, like from then on it has been pretty good i think uh, it's the all three way communications between me and yash me abhishek and yash and abhishek had the first communications that we ever had was related to competitive programming and it also kind of changed the scenario ki earlier we had to go ourselves to make friends after be uh, getting fame through competitive programming people used to know bef- know us before they came to us and then the sub friendship sort of build after that like uh, i would like to share that uh, when you like start computer programming like just for at least a month or two like start it like you start playing a game or like start playing chess and things like that and don't like take it as something you have to do like studying uh, os or dbms like there's a decent chance that you would enjoy it like you would enjoy the thrill of solving problems and like there are a lot of smart people i know like who could have done great and like they just stop doing it just because they felt they felt like a another homework to them like if they gave a ch- gave it a chance and then they didn't like it it's fine but also like lot of people get intimidated by icpc like they think it's too tough to get qualified like they need a grandmaster in their team or like all three should be masters like it is not the case if you have a good team bonding and uh, like topics are well divided amongst yourselves then like even if you three of none none of the three of the teammates are masters then also like we have seen it happen before i would say don't see competitive programming as a necessity for getting interns and placement just enjoy it and you will i am pretty sure you will enjoy it if you uh, see it as a, a competitive programming not just a preparation strategy for interns uh just reiterating what they already said ki when you start doing competitive programming don't just go after that uh we have to boost up our rating uh just give it time try to enjoy the process for at least 6 to 8 months and then see uh the result should follow itself so and a lot of like juniors and other people like ask me this doubt like i am practicing a lot and my rating is not getting up so like it's the most common doubt i heard so to answer that i would just like to say that uh, like it's it's a computer programming is, is a thing like you will not see a linear growth in your profile like it's not that you practice for one month and you will uh, like your rating would grow in that fashion only so instead of comparing through ratings the better way is to compare that are you able to solve problems which you were not able to solve a month ago or two months ago like that is the better metric to judge yourself rather than rating because rating it's like a 2 hour contest and it's somewhat luck dependent slightly and in the long run definitely the ratings will also improve but like for initially uh, after 4 months of doing competitive programming my rating was lower than i started with so like it's not rating should not be a metric especially in initial like 1 year of doing competitive programming like it's it can easily uh demotivate anyone that my rating is getting decreased only even after i'm doing 5 2 hours 3 hours of computer programming daily so i would just say like just judge yourself from what you were one month ago and not from the ratings of the sites <laughs>